Hi everyone. This is the Ocean County Library Teen Services Department. We want you to know that we truly miss speaking to you guys and seeing you in our teen zones, our library spaces, and spending time with you in our programs. We hope all of you are safe and well in this quarantine. Besides not seeing you in our libraries, we are also missing the opportunity of seeing you in your schools. Each spring, we come to our local branches, middle and high schools, and promote our latest and greatest YA books for summer read. Presently, our branches, like your schools, are currently closed, but our virtual library is open 24 hours, seven days a week. Because we are unsure when our libraries will be open to you, we decided to give our annual summer read talk a virtual spin. Each one of us from our home made a slide of our favorite reads. Each title that you will be seeing are available in our virtual library. They can be downloaded to or streamed on your computer, phone, tablet, or reading device. It is all free. All you need is your Ocean County Library card. Do you need a library card? Apply for one by going to our website, theoceancountylibrary.org. Scrolling down to the bottom of the page and then selecting sign up under get a library card. You'll then be brought to the option to fill out the library card application online. Once you fill it out completely, confirm that you are not a robot, submit your application and you'll receive an email with your digital library card number that can be used at any time. The titles presented in this video are available through the Hoopla website and app and the Overdrive website and Libby app. Please note that in our virtual libraries, there are no fines. Anything you check out expires on the due date and it is returned automatically. Hoopla offers live streaming of audiobooks, ebooks, and graphic novels located under comics. Since Hoopla is a digital streaming platform, the collection is always available. You can access Hoopla through their website at hooplaDigital.com or download the app. Libby and Overdrive are also available. Unlike Hoopla, they do not stream and are considered single borrow items. Libby is the new app for Overdrive. It is available for iPad, iPhone, and Android device. Overdrive is the original and works with a wider range of devices, such as e-readers. Both have access to the same library of books. To access Overdrive, go to ocl.overdrive.com. All digital materials can be found on the oceancountylibrary.org forward slash downloads. If you do not have a library card or cannot access yours, OCL is now offering free temporary digital library cards to all students. An active email address is all that you need. Once you read your books, don't forget to go back to the Ocean County Library website and record those reads on our Summer Read Challenge for a chance to win some awesome giveaways. For every five books read, you earn a virtual raffle ticket. Now, if you only need one book as a requirement for Summer Read, you can print out the one book badge and your book review as proof. Summer Read Imagine Your Story Challenge starts mid-June at theoceancountylibrary.org slash beanstack.
If you could save the world by playing a video game, would you? In a not-too-distant future, Andrew Ender Wigan is a third child and rare exception to Earth's two-child policy. He's sent to battle school to be groomed to fight the buggers, an insect-like alien race. Battle school is set up like a first-person shooter game, and children are trained during simulated battles. Ender excels and transfers to command school to be trained by legendary Mazer Rackham, who almost defeated the buggers years before. What price does Ender pay for his talent and rapid ascent? And what happens when he discovers the command school's secret? New Kid is the story of Jordan Banks, a future cartoonist. But his mom refuses to send him to the art school of his dreams. And now that everything is new, it will be even harder for him to fit in. New School. The prestigious Riverdale Academy Day, a.k.a. RAD. A nice school. A really, really, really nice school. New Friends. Like Liam, underneath his pink shirt is a heart of gold. He's been at RAD since kindergarten. And fellow New Kid, Drew. Math whiz, who's also looking to fit in. Can Jordan survive being one of the few kids of color while keeping his neighborhood friends and staying true to himself? See for yourself in New Kid. Do you like graphic novels? Have you ever felt different? Have you ever been friends with somebody who is the total opposite from you? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then Stargazing by Jen Wang might be the next read for you. This graphic novel tells the story of two girls who are both Chinese American but come from very different worlds. Moon is confident, impulsive, artistic, and raised by her single mom, while Christine comes from a very traditional family, lives by the rules, and is always doing the right thing, and spends most of her time playing violin. Can these two girls become best friends? If you want to find out, read Stargazing by Jen Wang. My name is Joseph Landau, and I am a Jew. The Nazis have ordered my family to leave Germany. We have a few days to get out, or we will be sent to a concentration camp. We are going to meet my father in Hamburg and board a ship to Cuba. Cuba isn't safe anymore, Isabel, my father tells me. There are riots throughout Havana. People are starving. In order to survive, we must reach America. We leave tonight. And nothing, nothing is left, left after an airstrike destroys our apartment in Aleppo. Everything we own is in these backpacks. We're trying to reach the border of Turkey, and from there find a smuggler who can get us into Greece. Once we're there, we can be granted refugee status. If we make it, we'll be safe. If we make it, we have a new life. And freedom. Look for Refugee at your Scholastic Book Fair. This is Darius the Great is Not Okay by Adib Karam. This is about Darius, obviously Darius Kellner. He's half American and half Persian. His mother is from Iran. He's living in America, but he doesn't really fit in. 
kind of because he's Iranian, but kind of because he likes, you know, nerdy things like Star Trek and tea, and he's just very different than the other boys in his town. He's a little overweight, so he's not into sports. So one day, his mother tells him they're going to Iran to go see her father, who is kind of not doing well, so she needs to see him before he passes, and it's his first time going to Iran. So he goes there with his young sister, his very American father, his mother, and they see Iran for the first time as a family. And he gets to experience all the different things of a culture he had never seen before. That's really half of where he came from. And, you know, things go wrong. There's misunderstandings. He makes a friend, but he thinks that it's not really a friend. But it turns out, well, in the end, it's really it's a really sweet friendship he makes for the first time in his life. And he really gets to know his grandparents, who are so different than him. But they're really awesome. And he gets to see this beautiful country that he never, that he had never been to before. And he actually gets to really connect with his father for the first time, who he hasn't. And by seeing him and how he, or how everybody reacts to him as an American, as a very white American in Iran. And he just learns a lot about himself. And it's, it's a great coming of age novel. I don't really read a lot of contemporary fiction. So when I find one that I think is good, I really jump at it and, Darius, which is a great character. I liked him a lot. I thought he was funny and sweet and just awesome guy. There, I believe there's a sequel, so it's very exciting. Um, he just, he does, they end up going, you know, back to America because it was just a visit. And things that he learned there, he really carries with him. And he becomes a better person. He can make some friends now. And it's just a really good, really good book. Julian, let me tell you a story. It was 1940. I was a little girl living in France. Nothing was normal anymore, not if you were Jewish like us. When the Nazis came, all I could do was wait and pray for the war to end. And then I met Julien. It always takes courage to be kind. But in those days, kindness could cost you everything. If you see injustice, fight it. Speak out. Promise me, Julian. Hi everyone, Diana, Princess of the Amazons is a graphic novel by Shannon Hale about Wonder Woman when she was just 11-year-old Diana. 11-year-old Diana leaves an idyllic life cut off from the rest of the world on a beautiful island, but she's beginning to feel a little alone. Though she has a loving mother and many aunties, she is an only child. In fact, she is the only child on the entire island. After an escapade goes wrong, Diana gets in trouble for not living up to the Amazonian standard. She just can't seem to measure up no matter what she does. Every other person on the island is an adult, proficient in their trade, and mighty in body, while she's a gangly, sometimes clumsy, not particularly good at anything. She's not Wonder Woman. Not yet. 
When Diana needs a friend, someone her own age she can talk to, she decides to take matters into her own hands, and what she encounters is something very unexpected. Thank you. If We Were Giants by Dave Matthews Kira, an adventurous girl, and her father live in a peaceful community inside an inactive volcano. They are the only two people allowed to leave the village because Kira is training to be a storyteller. This means she travels from village to village, spreading horrifying stories to keep outsiders away from their secret community. One day, after hearing rumors of strangers called the Takers, Kira leaves the volcano by herself, hoping to discover a story but she accidentally leads the Takers back to her village, where they take everything she's worked hard to keep. After the incident, Kira is found by a group of tree folk. She keeps her past hidden until the Takers return. It is now up to Kira to stop them. I rest my head against the car window and watch the world outside race by. I imagine I am running through the tall grass alongside the car. No, I am on a horse, a white horse with a tail like a banner, a horse from the Everwood. Nothing is fast enough to touch us. Didn't find a book that you're interested in? 
not a problem. Go to the Ocean County Library website and go on to our concierge service. Tell us what you're interested in. What was the last good book you read? Or what was the last good movie you saw? And we'll find a book that will suit you. We have thousands of books to choose from. Thanks guys, we had a great visit. If you're interested in community service hours this summer, we will be offering our sale volunteer program virtually. So check back at our website after June 1st for applications and have a great summer.